Wow, I can't believe I'm doing a Q&A. Like, I feel like an official YouTuber now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing my first Q&A and I'm literally so excited because like I always love watching YouTubers do Q&As and the fact that I'm finally doing one is just so mind blowing to me. Like I feel so official now, but I definitely couldn't be doing this without you guys. So thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. It honestly means so much to me and I know I'm gonna get like a little sappy here right now, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I hope you continue to enjoy my content. But anyways, in the last few videos, I I've asked you to leave me some questions in the comments and I took a few of those and now we're gonna answer them. So I think a good first question is who inspired you to do YouTube? Now this is a little tricky because I've been watching YouTube for like nine years now and the people I've watched have kind of like cycled through. So I take inspiration from so many people throughout the years and I feel like because of that my style has kind of like picked and chosen from styles of other YouTubers and it just all came together into my style. The next question kind of stems off of that it's who are your favorite youtubers now just like before i've been watching for so long so i have so many favorite youtubers obviously a big one right now would be shane dawson like the stuff he does with this series is just so mind-blowing i don't know how he does it but he keeps the audience hooked and it's so good and then there's people like weston corey i don't know if you guys know who that is but his content is like very hard to understand it's so wild and out there like his editing is insane it's all over the place but that's what makes the video so good and then of course there's people like Emma Chamberlain, Jenna Marbles, David Dobrik, and just a lot of other people. How do your parents feel about your YouTube channel? They're honestly like really supportive. I think it's so cool because every time I have a new video come out, they automatically watch it because they have my post notifications on. So they're like my biggest fans. So if you want to be my biggest fan, you should subscribe and turn on the little bell so you're notified every time I post. But yeah, they really like it. Every time I post something, they watch it automatically. They get the notification and then they come and they tell me what they like what they didn't like, what I should improve on, and I think it's super cool. Do you have any siblings? I actually don't. I'm an only child, which probably explains like my like crazy personality, but sometimes I get bored, but sometimes I really like it. I just need like my alone time. And it's good that I don't have someone bothering me all the time. Who's your favorite singer? Okay, not to be shady or anything, but like literally the past few months, like in the summer, artists have not been putting out good music. Like there's some here, few in there that like are okay, but like there hasn't been like a really good song except for Dua Lipa. I'm honestly so obsessed with her music right now. Like it's so good. And I just think she's killing the game with like the pop with electronic genre type of thing and obviously her voice is just so amazing but yeah i have to say my favorite singer right now is dua lipa I, got new rules that count them. I feel like that question kind of blends into this next question and it's what's your favorite music genre now this is where i get kind of like a little tricky and weird i don't have a specific favorite genre i don't know i'm just like quirky you know i mean i really like like pop music especially like electronic pop or like tropical house music I I don't know if you know what that is but I really like that stuff but if you go to my Spotify down below you'll see that I don't really have different kinds of playlists for different emotions or genres or whatever I literally only have one single playlist and it has like 800 songs and it just keeps growing I just put everything I want in there and honestly I don't like sad songs I like upbeat songs I don't listen to sad songs they make me sad so yeah I like happy music that's like makes me want to dance like <laughs> Are you going to answer this question in your Q&A? I literally see this question every Q&A known to man, like someone always asks this and the YouTuber always answers with no. And I'm not rude like those other YouTubers. I'm gonna answer your question and say yes, I will answer your question because I love my fans. <laughs> What's the worst injury you've ever had? So I'm like kind of lucky, I guess. I really haven't had like a really serious injury. Gotta knock on wood because I don't want anything to happen right now. But a few months ago, I actually like slipped down some stairs and I sprained my foot and like I had to wear one of those boots for a few weeks. It wasn't that bad. I didn't break anything. It was just sprained. So that's like kind of my biggest injury. When are you gonna return my blanket? And what's your favorite thing about Poland? Okay, so if you haven't watched Watched. I made this one video a few months ago is where I recreated the Instagram photos of Nicolette Gray and I used one of my friend's blankets for like this scarf type
type of thing. If you haven't watched that video, you should go watch it now. But don't worry, I already returned the blanket because I'm a good person, I don't steal. As for what's my favorite part about Poland, if you already don't know, I'm Polish. I feel like I literally say in every single video, but I don't care, I'm proud of it, so deal with it. But yeah, I've been to Poland a few times and honestly, I think it's just like the culture and like the architecture, it's just so beautiful. There's so much culture in that country. If you go to like the big cities, there's literally a church like every five feet. I'm not even kidding. Here's proof that I'm not lying. This is a map of all the churches in Poland. Yeah, that's a lot. One time I was in Krakow, it's like this city in the south, and there's this one intersection and there was a church on all four corners and I was like, that's a lot, but they're like full on cathedrals and they just look so beautiful and I just admire that so much. So like, I wanna go back again and like vlog it for you guys because I feel like it's kind of underappreciated and there's not that many people that go there or know about it. So maybe I'll do that one day. What's your favorite brand? So I'm gonna assume you're kind of talking about like clothing brands and I feel like I have two answers to this question. The first answer is like where I shop what brands I like to shop at. And I do lots of shopping at like Forever 21 or H&M. I've been to Zara a few times. I really like Hollister. I don't know, all of their stuff just kind of like looks good. I mean, that's probably why I like them. I feel like I don't really have a set style. I just see something that I like and I buy it. And then I kind of just like arrange stuff from there. But I feel myself trying to like expand style. Like literally the other day I bought plaid pants. Like, can you believe it? Never in my life would I think that I would buy plaid pants. Pants. If you don't believe me, okay, look at this. Like, honestly, I don't hate them. I got this at Forever 21, if you can see that. And I felt like I would never in my life see myself wearing plaid, but I just saw these and I was like, you know, these are not bad. And then my second answer to the question would be like, what brand I like, but I can't really afford this brand at the moment. Hopefully I'll be able to afford it in the future because I really like their stuff. And that's Balenciaga. Like I know their stuff is really controversial. They make really weird stuff, but that's what I just love about it. The things they come up with is just so weird. Like. They came up with those sock shoes and that's like something that wasn't controversial, literally everyone liked. But then there's stuff like, I don't know if you've ever seen that shirt that has another shirt sewn on like the front, like a button down. It looks really weird. Honestly, I don't think I'd see myself wearing that, maybe for like an Instagram picture or something. But I just think it's cool. It's like innovative. It's like pushing the boundaries. So that's why I like them. If you had $10 million, what would you do with it? Okay, every time I hear this question, I'm kind of like tripped out because if I just opened up my bank account and there was $10 million, I would just like freak out. I honestly don't know what I would do first. Like, do you buy a house? Do you buy a car? I literally don't know. I feel like maybe I'd take a trip somewhere, like somewhere I've always wanted to been. Did I just say somewhere I always wanted to been? Like ever since I started college, I haven't taken an English class, which I'm so happy about, but you can tell by my grammar. Okay, but anyways, like there's some places I've always wanted to go and and my top two locations right now, or number one is Tokyo. I'm just so obsessed with like the idea of Tokyo. There's just so much crazy like technology, culture there, and the streets, the alleys, the signs, it's all so beautiful. And then like a complete opposite of that is Iceland. That's my second most wanted destination. And that's all landscapes. Like the landscapes are just so stunning. Every time I see a picture, I'm like, oh, why can't I go there? And now it's being overridden with tourism. So it's gonna get 10 times more expensive and there's gonna be so many other people there. So it sucks that I can't go right now. So if I had $10 million, I'd probably just go somewhere real quick. I mean, not real quick. I'd take my time. I wanna like visit the place. What is your favorite vine? I'm literally obsessed with vines. I remember freshman year of high school, like 2014, when vine was really popping. I would come home after school and just sit on the app for like three hours, scrolling through vines and more vines and more vines. That was such a prime time in my life. But there's so many that I love. And you know what really hurts me? Okay, I have a lot of friends that are like not educated in vines and that hurts me so much. Like every time I make a vine reference, they just look at me and they're like, what are you saying? So hi, if you're one of my friends and you don't know vines, you should like watch a few compilations and educate yourself because it's a daily struggle that I have to face when no one gets my references. But where can I start? There's so many good vines. I'm just gonna pick three off the top of my head that are like some of my favorites. So I really like this one. Whoa! <laughs> Hurricane Katrina! More like Hurricane Tortilla! And then I also like this one. Give me your fucking money! 
<laughs> and finally, I really like this one. <laughs> what is something you have always wanted to try but have been too scared to do? You know, I can't really think of an answer to this question. Like, I feel like most people would say skydiving or something, but honestly, I don't really feel scared of skydiving. I've been indoor skydiving and it's pretty fun, but actual skydiving, I haven't done it yet. And I don't feel scared to. So the reason I haven't done it yet is I feel like I want to save my first time skydiving to a really cool location. Like, I don't want to skydive over some random field where you can't see anything. I want to go to like Dubai where there's the ocean, you have those huge huge skyscrapers. I feel like skydiving around that would be so much cooler than just like over a field. So the last question I'm gonna answer is how do you do your editing? I feel like a lot of people are expecting me to say like iMovie or Final Cut Pro or something but I actually use this program called DaVinci Resolve. I think it's really cool. It's free. It has so much stuff and it just gets the job done. So that's what I use. That's all the questions I'm gonna answer today and if you submit a question, thank you so much. I had so much fun answering all these questions. If I hit another milestone, I'll probably do another one. Maybe like when I hit 10,000 subscribers, that's like really far off to think about. I don't know when that's going to happen, but if it ever happens, I'll probably make another Q&A. If you're new here or you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on because last time I kind of had a freak out because I uploaded a video and it didn't show up on my page or the subscription feed for like a whole hour. I like to ask my friends if they could see the video and the ones that had their notifications on got the notification and could watch it, but no one else could watch it for like a whole hour and I didn't know why that happened. It's probably this YouTube algorithm or whatever, but definitely hit those post notifications. Then if you like the video, like it, comment any video ideas about what I should do. I have a few ideas lined up, but I'd like to hear what you guys wanna see. And I guess that's it. So. I'll see you next week. Peace.